Math Materials The good news about materials is that while there are wonderful materials that are sold for math learning, you probably have or could make a lot of materials that will achieve the same goal, like these caps and bottle tops which are used for matching numbers to numerals. Look for materials that you already have in your playroom. Have the children line up trucks from smallest to largest. Trace around the children's feet and compare or use their traced feet to measure objects in the room. Ask the children why they think that people get different answers when measuring the same object. Puzzles are a great way to learn spatial reasoning. Take those odd socks that you find around the house or at a Goodwill store and number them. Get the children to hang them on a clothesline, but in the right order. Buy inexpensive pom-poms and have the children sort them by color, count them, or estimate how many there are in a jar. A household ice tray is a great way for children to count or sort. You can buy dice or make your own and have the children roll the dice, count the pips, and find the correct numeral. Wooden sticks can be bought at craft stores and can be used with pom-poms, stars, or lines to match number and numerals. Clothespins can be used by older children to match number and numerals. These are painted green like crocodiles and could work with a book like Counting Crocodiles. You could make them as simple as you'd like. Notice that this picture shows paint chip strips to write the numerals. Estimation is an important part of number sense. Have an estimation jar in the room and let the children guess how many. What they guess will give you a good idea of their understanding of number. You can celebrate holidays or seasons and at the same time practice recognizing shapes. Here are some carrots drawn on brown paper with matching felt shapes that the children can place on top. A simple cookie sheet can make a contained workspace for creating patterns with construction paper shapes. You can add stick-on magnets to make this even more fun. Buttons are a great math material. You can find them at garage sales or purchase them from fabric or craft stores when you have a coupon. You can use them for counting, sorting, and graphing. Sort by color, by number of holes, or compare sizes. Colored cereal can be strung to make pattern necklaces. Then you can eat them for snack. Make your own graphs after looking at the different kinds of apples. Let the children taste apples at snack time and then create the graph showing their favorites. Speaking of snacks, you can prepare closed, clear plastic bags with snacks like goldfish or pretzels and have the children decide which bag has more, which has less, and then count the goldfish before you eat them. If you have money to buy math materials, you might want to consider snap together blocks, which can be used for building as well as for counting and sorting. Another product is pattern blocks. If you can't buy the plastic ones, which are less expensive than the wooden ones, you can make your own. There are lots of sites on the internet that have templates of the blocks. If you're creating your own, use the colors of real pattern blocks so children will be familiar with them when they go to school. Hexagons are always yellow, triangles are green, squares orange, trapezoids red, the blue rhombus is a regular rhombus and the small rhombus is always tan. Use pony beads to make counting strings. Alternate groups of ten white or red beads so children can count larger numbers or create strings for each number up to ten or twenty. Be sure to knot carefully at both ends to avoid losing beads. A great source for math materials is Pinterest. Go to Pinterest.com and search for math materials. You'll find lots and lots of great ideas.